An archivist has found a document showing another way legendary activist Sojourner Truth made history. This is Sojourner Truth's handling. This is her DNA left behind on this document. And the rest is legalese and all of that. This is Sojourner Truth. This is where she shows up in this story. 194 years after a historic case where a black woman successfully sued a white man to release her son from enslavement, the documents have been found. So she was trying to get her son back uh, under the threat of never seeing him again and having him enslaved forever. And women were rarely parties to actions in the courts, and so it piqued my interest. So I looked at the document, started reading it, noted the name Isabella Van Wagenen, read a little farther, recovering her son from slavery. That rang the bell. Isabella was born into the institution of slavery around 1797. Her first language was Dutch, as her original enslavers were Dutch colonists in upstate New York. She'd had five children when she escaped her enslaver, but one of them, a five-year-old son named Peter, was illegally sold south to Alabama. She sued and won. So just the fact that she was a woman going up against uh, powerful men. That's extraordinary right there. And then you add in race, and then you add in class. So it's, it's an amazing story. After a religious transformation, Isabella changed her name to Sojourner Truth and dedicated her life to ending slavery and getting the vote for all women. Sojourner Truth's activism has changed the United States. She was the first black woman memorialized with a bust in the U.S. Capitol, and a U.S. naval ship that is under construction will soon bear her name. Part of her dedication to making the lives of others better, seen here in nearly 200-year-old documents. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.